two vectors a and b have components 0, 1, and negative 1, 3, respectively. What is the magnitude of the sum of these two vectors? So we know that if we add a and b, we're going to get a resultant vector of c. And we know that to find the resultant, or the c, it's sim we simply add the components of the two vectors a and b. So we add both the x components and the y components, which would give us that c has a sum of negative 1, 4. Now, the question is asking for what is the magnitude of the sum of the two vectors. So we need to figure out what the magnitude of this is. So we look at this, and we realize that this is the x component, and this is the y component. So we have an x component of negative 1, and then we have a y component of 4. And we want to know what the magnitude is, so what this is, what this vector is here. Now, in order to solve for this, we're going to denote this, say, d, solve for d. We're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that d squared is equal to in this case, 4 squared plus negative 1 squared. Now to solve for d, we take the square root of both sides, which would give us d squared is equal to the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, plus negative 1 squared, which would be 1, which gives us the square root of 17. So d is equal to the square root of 17. Now, the square root of 17 is approximately equal to 4.1. So we know that our answer is D. If you're not allowed to use a calculator, you can uh, approximate your answer by knowing that it has to be greater than 4 because 4 squared is equal to 16. You're taking the square root of 17, so you know it's 4 and a little bit. So that's, so that's one way you can narrow down your choices because A, B, and C are not greater than 4. So on the basis here, you can know which one to choose without actually having to do the square root out and be very approximate. You can just figure out what the range should be around. So 4 and a little bit corresponds to the 4.1 if you don't have a calculator actually calculated out. You can go off the basis of squares that you do know in order to help you solve the problem. So once again our answer is D 4.1